Now I love my shop vac and I absolutely love my cyclone, but what I can't stand is trying to lug this thing around the shop and constantly battle the cyclone to make sure that it stays upright. Now if you have a cyclone, you've probably been there before and it's incredibly frustrating. So I've had this Oneida Desk Deputy Cyclone for quite some time now and I absolutely love it. It does an amazing job at separating the dust. So if you're new to cyclones or new to woodworking in general, you'll quickly find out that on your very first woodworking project, you can easily clog a filter. All of that dust just naturally wants to cake onto the filter and it clogs it up. And so it, you'll get less airflow, it's bad for your shop vac, and those filters aren't cheap, they're really expensive. And, and so nobody wants to be replacing filters all the time. And so that's where a cyclone comes in. Uh, the, the cyclone comes with a small little hose that's attached to uh, the hose port on your shop vac and you attach it to the top of your cyclone and so as it sucks air through here the regular hose attaches to here and all those dust particles come in and they spin around and with centrifugal force they spin around so fast that they, they drop out into this bucket and so this captures 99% of the dust whereas hardly anything makes it back in your shop vac so you hardly ever have to replace filters for your shop vac. And once this bucket gets full, uh, you simply pull the, there's another bucket that this sits inside. And so you simply pull the bucket out. And in my case, I have a field in my backyard. So I just walk back there, dump out all the sawdust, come back and I'm ready to go again. So that is the value in having a cyclone. It also worked great at sucking all the water out of your water softener. Don't ask. Uh, that's what I love about it, but what I don't love about it is when you're pulling it or trying to pull it around with your shop vac, you're always fighting this thing and it's always wanting to fall over. Uh, there's a, a few casters that, they, that it comes with that you mount on the bottom, but it's just not a good solution. And it's, it's, it's something that you're always struggling with. Uh, I've tried bungee cords, I've tried other methods, and, um, and so that's the whole reason why I'm building this cyclone cart. Now there's a lot of different solutions that are out there as far as mobile shop vac cyclone uh, dust collection carts go. If you do some Google searches or look around on YouTube, you'll see a lot of different solutions out there that are much more elaborate than what I'm about to build. Uh, I'll be the first to admit that there's nothing fancy about this. Uh, my criteria was basically I wanted something to be super functional, not take up a lot of space, and I wanted it to be super effective at doing the job. And, uh, and sometimes, you know, a minimalist approach and the simplest approach is the best approach. So to start, I laid things out the way that I wanted them to be situated inside of the cart. And then I just took some rough measurements. Next, I removed the casters from the bucket. But I didn't want to completely do away with the two bucket design. I still really like the idea of taking the bucket of sawdust and being able to just pull it out of the other bucket when I need to go dump it. So the plan is to take that first bucket and bolt it down to the floor of the cart so that when I pull on the other bucket, it in turn will pull the cart along with it.
So if you ever put a five gallon bucket inside of another one, you'll know that it's really tough to pull that other bucket out because of the vacuum that's created inside. So to counter that vacuum, you need to drill some holes in that outer bucket so that when you go to pull that other bucket out, it's not gonna stick. And uh, I already had a hole drilled on the bottom of this bucket, but since it's gonna be lying flat and flush against the floor of the cart, I went ahead and drilled a 3 8 inch hole on each side of the bucket. Then I went ahead and bolted it to the floor of the cart, which is actually the very simple key to this low profile design. Since you'll be dragging the cart around by the hose, it's really important to put a hose clamp on there so that that hose doesn't pop off. Now if you drill those holes in that outer bucket, when you go to move around, that inner bucket's naturally going to want to pivot and follow you in a turret style motion, which ends up being a pretty neat feature. Another thing I really like about it is if I ever want to just use a shop vac all by itself, it's really easy to just disconnect it and pull it out. Mm -hmm. 